Hi guys, welcome to the flight today. As we are down in uh, lovely Lisbon, we're going to be going to do a flight to Seville in the 737-800 that you guys uh, majority voted for on the channel on the community post. So we're going to be flying with Ryanair, the Bye Bye Easy Jet, and we're going to be leaving out on runway 03, coming in for the ILS for runway 09 down in Seville. So it should be a lovely departure, we don't have to worry too much about VOR tracking and we'll have the lovely navigational display along with the FMC to help us along our journey today. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys, leave your comments down below, help us get to that 2k subscriber goal. And now we can get inside the cockpit and do our preliminary free flight procedures on the 737-800. Okay, so here we are now in the 737-800, as you can see we've got the... Honeywell MCP as well. So we'll go overhead now, get the uh, battery on and guarded, standby power is guarded and the ground power is on. We can go and get the APU already up and loaded. Put one pump on for that as we get the IRS's aligned, so we'll put them both to a nav which are set and checked. Go do the flight recorder test which is checked, Mac air speed warnings which are checked and we're going to get the window heat on which can all be set for us today. So voice recorder is auto. We can go and get the trim air on which is set, the packs can go on, get the APU bleed on and the engine bleeds can be off for now. If we check out on the flight plan today we are going for a flight level of 290 and elevation down is 111 for uh, Seville. So we can put the uh, position lights on and get the anti-collisions on and set. As the APU gets ready to fire over, we can go to the bat and ground power. We've got IFE, cab utils, etc. all on and set. So we're going to get all our lighting on now. So we we'll get the nav lights on. We we'll get the front cockpit all lit up along with our instruments, which are set. And on our overhead, we can go get the panel lighting, which is all set and checked. We can arm the emergency lights, which are also set. And now as the APU is ready to switch over, switch over onto the bus, go to the APU gen. Now the APU will be uh, firing up onto the packs, which will be set for us today. So we'll go down into the FMC, get the aircraft all ready and lit. As the IRS is now ready to go, so we go to the positional initial reference. And we're going from uh, Lima, Papa Papa Tango. From there, we'll set the IRS, everything will come to life as we can see, as we've got the route display mod with the uh, PFD. So as we go down to our routing, we've got then Lima Echo Zulu Lima, which is on for the arrival. Coming out onto the departure, we're going to be leaving out on runway 03 and we're taking the uh, Gios 5 November. From Gios, we've then got direct to Lazib. Then from Lazib we've got the Uniform Mike 744 which is going to take us to Santa and that's going to be the start of our arrival which will be the Santa 4 Foxtrot. So we we'll go to the arrival page, we've got the Santa 4 Foxtrot coming in for 09 on the ILS and I think we've got the Zulu for the ILS, we've got the ILS Zulu, so it will be the ILS 09 Zulu, and we will be transitioned for Tendu. So that's all set for us there, we can go and activate that up. So I'll go to our Perth now, get that all set. So on our Perth, we've got a gross weight of 70 tonnes, got 2.3 on the reserves. Cost index today, leaving out, is going to be 17. Going for a flight level 2-3, so we want to be said 2-9, so we'll stay in with the uh, FMC, so we'll put 2-3-0, which will go in. We'll switch over to our overhead, go down to 2-3, uh, which will be SAM. We can execute that, as it's going to turn a steep descent, etc. We'll go down into our own accord and open up the uh, speed intervention. So from there, we've got the ISA which we can get now, which we are going to go for 194013 and that's going to give us a minus 30 ok, which is set trans altitude is going to be for 6000 
Anyone limit sounds we come out, we'll take full climb, we're going to take off one full takeoff, we're going to be taking flaps five, center of gravity is going to be over on our weight, which is going to be for us today, payload 227. 227, runway winds leaving out on for the meters. We've got 05012. is dry, acceleration height and throttle 1 for the cutoff which is fine QNH1017 so if we go back we can now get the uh, V speeds in which is 152, trim is 5.50 which we can get now done Okay, that's 5.50 which is all set and checked down to uh, TA which will be set and checked. We've got our airspeed etc. 152 coming out for V2 initial heading leaving out of the runway for us is going to be down is the 026 we're departing out of so 026 which is set at 6000 is initial we're going out for 2 3 years. we need to be for 6000 above once we swing in once we leave out onto the departure route we're going to basically leave out from Lisbon which is the 1148 we're going to make a right head turn 2000 above and then swing around onto the 177 which will then take us down for the 139 fly will 6000 or above to uh, Gios which will be uh, ready and set for us so we're going to go up now ready to intercept for the 177 so the aircraft's now pretty much fully ready to go. Auto brake can go to RTO, can arm the auto throttle, which will be set and checked. Coming through LNAV and VNAV, we'll have LNAV on once we get past 400, then flaps out of retraction. We'll then slip into VNAV. Auto brake set to RTO, QNH is 1017, com radio set for the 1148. Which is set, and there's Lisbon's VR, apparently so in DMA. So we're going to follow out as we are now ready to go. So, as the IRSs are now aligned, we can put the uh, yaw dampers on, which are checked. We can get all of our fuel pumps, which are on and set. And we can get the electrics on as we get ready to close the doors and uh, say bye bye. It's now driving up as we are uh, can see them coming now so we've got the auto throttle which is armed and set left right center fuel pumps which are all on and checked electric hydraulic pumps which are on got the after service door which we can get shut which is all set and checked so all doors are closed we'll see lights out which will be set anti-collision light which is on and set parking brake which is set and engine area is clear Coming through for the engine ready to go up, we've got engine which is on our engine display which is set. The packs are going to be turned off which are also set. And we've got the isolation valve which is auto, that will be after for before taxi checklist. So put the isolation valve to auto once we've got the okay. uh, engines on. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Tugs are now ready to connect, lift us up. As we're going to be uh, departing now, it's going to be a short taxi as we leave. So our taxi is pretty much going to be, we're going to come up, we're going to take a left onto Uniform and then come all the way down and uh, come through onto runway 03. We're leaving out for the 026 which we've also got set on our heading. LNAV can be armed as LNAV we're only going to use to come out. Then we'll bug up to our flaps up speed if we've got any max speed retractions. It's 250 max below flight level 100 and that's by ATC. So there are no speed restrictions, etc. But we will hold into our flaps up until we go out of the turn. So connected in bypass scene circuit. Release parking brake. Okay, so parking brake is released. Starting pushback. You may start the engine. Okay, so as we are now all ready to go, and we are clear to start the engines and put the engine start to both position lights, etc. are on, packs are off, along with the engine bleeds which are off, so we can go for engine number two. There's a start valve for engine number two, which will come to life. N2 is now slowly coming to life along that oil and temp pressure. 25% will inject fuel, then we'll see our EGT start to increase and the aircraft will come to life.
engine number two now comes over 58 percent should hear the starter cutout go off and we'll go for engine number one so again start valve is open we see n2 now increasing all oh, temperature central pressure will come to life 25 percent will inject fuel and we see how egt again start to increase Two now is coming over 57 to 58 star cows are off and checked so as the tug now just gets ready to push us back we can get out before a taxi checklist so we can now switch generator one and two which will go over set and checked probe heats can now come on which are also checked wing anti-ice is off along with the engine anti-ice packs can now go to auto the isolation valve can go to auto the apu bleed can go off along with our engine bleeds which are on APU can go off which is set and checked, elevator trim is for 5.50 and we can test the recall which is also set, the lower display unit can Operation off. complete, set parking brake Parking brake which is now set, which we just got to hold, that's for some reason it doesn't work properly in this Disconnecting tow, stand by Taxi lights will be on, ready for taxi and runway turnoffs as required. So that is pretty much us all set now for the departure route. Leaving 230, we're going to go up for flight level as we are currently now leaving out onto the runway. So we can go and test out our instruments, our standby instruments, and we can set the QH for 1017 on that as well. Auto brake is RTO, we're going down for flaps 5. Tell the tug it's clear to go. 1017 which is also set and checked so flaps 5 now is just releasing and our taxi checklist is also complete max 20 knots so is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed and signal on the right we'll see you next time and have a safe flight okay see you soon bye bye so it's going to be a very quick taxi out, we're just going to take a left hand turn, follow it down to the end, pass November 2 and then make that right hand turn onto runway 03. So we can just quickly uh, check out on our displays. So we've got full left, full right, full forward, full backwards, rudder left and a rudder right, which is all fine for us. So we can turn that off. That's one which is on, we can get our taxi lights which are on and set and we can ding the cabin now and tell them that we are ready to go, no smoking and seatbelt signs are on. Can release the brakes and we'll start to power on up now to runway 03. Twenty knots max as we leave. So we're going to make this a left hand turn. Which is then going to backtrack us for 03. Flaps 5 are down, we've gone our performance checklist, everything's all set, we're going to be coming out on climb 1 before takeoff power. As we leave we've got our before takeoff checklist as well which will be all set, centre fuel pumps are off, de-ice is off, cabin lights are as required. As we're now going to line up on to runway 03 so we'll get some power in. get the yoke in as well. Currently 21 degrees. 1017 and we'll transition out through 6,000 feet. El nav is armed and we're currently leaving out on to the uh, 066. So 
So, cabin crew, take your seats for departure. Stripes can now go on. As we pass the hold line, we'll now line up on 03, ready to go. And then we'll do out before our takeoff checklist. So we're going to be leaving out onto the 177, then the 139. So here we are now on 03, which is all set for us to let the aircraft just go into a uh, just a little roll as we do the uh, before takeoff. So parking brake, which will say is chairs, fuel flow reset rate, centre fuel pumps are off. We've got the de ice, which is off, flight instruments, which are checked. Coming out, we've got VNAV, which is armed. After 400 feet, LNAV will become engaged. After flaps up, we'll then engage VNAV, which is going to take us up to 230 transition at 6000 for the. Uh, Q&H to go over to standard, which will be set. Nav equipment V1 rotate. We've got V2 for 152. So transponders now TARA, and we're leaving out on the uh, 026. So I'm going to power on up now to 40%, which is checked. Which forward on the column, stabilised, and toga. Speed live. Eighty knots. Check. Throw a hold. One hundred. He's back on the column. up speed which will be set for us auto brake can be turned off now along with the gear which will be set and checked we're bugged up now to our flaps up so we can turn down now on the flight director 1000 1, checked there's our climb one coming in as we're going to go down to the 177 which is also checked now as we're slowly starting to speed up i'm not going to uh i'm not going to pitch down too much as i want the aircraft to come up quite nice so there's our flaps one I was just waiting for that right hand turn now, which is going to take us up. So, flaps up is now coming in, which will be set and put VNAV on as well, which will be also set and checked for us. As we're now getting ready for that right hand turn. Flaps are fully up and set now, following the flight director, as we're going to fly around to uh, 250. So I pass it through 2006, 6000, and then hold on for the QH. And then we'll reset that back to standard. And just ease up on our left turn, just that little. We're going to be holding for 250, not to 10,000, just holding at 10 degrees of pitch. And we're just following the roll mode on the flight director. So we can now go into that 30 degrees. Got 25, which is set on the heading. And we just drop the nose a little as we come around the bend. So there's the QNHs now which can go back to standard. And let the autopilot now take control and LNAV and VNAV is engaged. So we can go to our after takeoff checklist. So we get the QNHs back to 10 for 2992 which is set. And after takeoff checklist, positive rate of climb, gear is up and off which is set and checked. Auto brake is off and checked. Engine start switches are off as we've got to put it on to continuous, gear levers off position, runway turn off lights are off and taxis can go off as well which are set. Passing through 5007 
as we go for 6,000 we're going to go straight out for 230 so for 230 we switch on the intervene and now we're going to fly straight up for flight level 230 on the climb out which should be nice for us so we've got CMDA which is engaged in terms of set passing transition altitude has been set to standard 299 at 2 and on the reserve gauge below 10,000 feet 250 which we are currently holding now passing through 7,000 feet just coming up for around 2,600 feet per minute landing lights will be off passing 10,000 seatbelts off and center fuel pumps as required so that is pretty much us for the departure guys as we leave out we're in climb one now currently 16 degrees we'll switch on the anti-ice passing just under 10 degrees and that should be us ready to roll in if we check in on the departure now we're at 177 11 11 nautical miles from the Pubba Tango 416 from the start to Manur which is 6,000 above which we are going to hit and then we're going to go on to the 139 from the 177 so that is pretty much it for the uh, departure as we can see it's in VNAP speed until we get up to our cruise and then we're going to the VNAP mode path 13 degrees now so what I'm going to do is going to get the engine anti-ice on which is checked and confirmed and that is pretty much it now for the departure guys so 10,000 feet landing lights are off as we didn't put them on either as we did forget and what I'm going to do is as we go on to the 139 go up to 25 degrees and there's our 10,000 feet so I'm going to leave you with the takeoff cinematics guys so don't forget to like and subscribe leave your comments down below and I'll see you when we get back in the cockpit ready for our top of descent ready to come into a lovely uh, Seville for the arrival for the ILS Zulu runway 09 in for the Ryanair 737-800 so I'll see you guys when we get back As we are going to be getting ready to set the aircraft into its top of descent, not going to use the VNAV, going to uh, basically get the aircraft down as opposed to uh, how far the tree we are, so around 85 nautical miles, doing around on our ground speed is going to be around 420. So we're going to come down for around 16,000 feet per minute, it needs to be for 10,000 or above to start. And we're going to go into vertical speed and we can start coming down around about a thousand feet per minute as we're going to break away on for Santa which is going to leave us down onto the 105 which is also set and checked as we get ready to come in for the 09 arrival there's the 105 which is in and we can go and get the Metars for Seville so we're all ready and set to come in and then we'll go through the arrival so you guys will understand exactly what's going to happen for the 09 ILS Zulu arrival so the QNH is 1016 and we've got 26 degrees and we've got on our winds we've got 08014 so we've got a nice little headwind coming in as we come through flight level 220 now we're going to be coming down for 10,000 feet 
and we are currently 44 nautical miles away from our next point of fix which is going to take us on to the 101 and then the 1204 Santa so there's the 120 now as we roll in Roscoe and Santa which is practically right next to us on our next waypoint so the aircraft's going to move now onto the 120 track which is also set so winds down are not too bad they are currently okay on temperatures minus two and we are coming down through at 21,000 feet we're currently 41 nautical miles from the center which is fine and then we'll start to slow the aircraft down as we get down to 10,000 feet which we've got set on the MCP altitude coming down at 1,000 feet per minute which is set we're coming down for around 16, 1,600 feet but from 10,000 feet down to 2 which is going to be in for the arrival so on for our arrival we're basically going to be coming down to Santa as you can see the aircraft for the Santa Fort Foxtrot flight level 100 above so 10,000 or above gone to the 121 which we're currently following the 120 track we're then going to take a right hand turn 19 DME away onto the right hand arc which will lead us for the initial approach fix at Tendu where we hit the ILS Zulu for runway 09 which is going to be on the 091 heading and we can see 2,000 feet will intercept the uh, ILS at 5.8 DME so the glide slope is 3 degrees and once we go in and get our winds and everything uh, set we can get the aircraft all ready to go so we can slow the aircraft down now we'll go down to uh, 265 and we can increase our descent rate now down to 17 as we pass through 20,000 throttles now are idle as the aircraft will slowly start to decel now on our speed. So we get our winds for the approach on for the arrival. So we go to our performance landing. We're coming in for runway 09. Winds are 080 at 14, which should give us around a plus 7. Temperature is 26. QNH is 1016. Coming in for a flaps 30, everything's going to be fine there. And as we can see, there's the VRF plus 7, as we said. So if it's below 10 knots on a headwind, it will be plus 5. Anything over 10 knots, just divide by 2, as long as it's a headwind. With crosswinds, it'll be a little bit different. So on our landing weight as well, we've got currently, as I haven't used this aircraft in uh, quite a little while, so we've got 69.2 coming down for our fuel which will be at the point where we come in we've got 5.4 to 5.8 so we take 0.4 off of that which is going to give us a 68.8 we'll put that in 68.8 and there is everything set for us we can take any uh, auto brake that we want so we'll take auto brake number two keep it nice and smooth passing through 18,000 and we can see just about where we are going to end up at 10,000 above now I'm going to increase the vehicle speed just a little more as I do want to get down for 10,000 instead of 10,000 above so then we can come down slow into that arrival and we'll have a nice arrival coming into Seville so coming in on the descent checklist de-ice which is currently on and checked landing altitude which is checked 100 which is currently for the 111 transition leaving down in for runway 09 is going to be 6000 we'll call it as by ATC which is also set and checked the arrival coming in for the Santa Fort Foxtrot we're going to get to 10,000 feet above and then we're going to turn onto the right DME arc to intercept for the initial approach fix at Tendu which will be for 2,000 feet we're currently coming down for 16,000 10,000 above let's start to slow the aircraft down now 250 and we're going to go up the speed rates just slightly As we slow down, we'll get closer in on where we need to be, as it is a steep descent. We said it had been cleared down now to 5,000 feet, which is also set and checked. As we're going to slow the aircraft right the way down, so that we can get back on profile. We can see that we're just around about 400 feet off of profile onto the vertical bearing. So if we're going to use the vertical bearing, we can see our flight path angle is 3.3, .3 and we only need 3 degrees, which is currently set for around 1,700 feet. So we are just under around 200 feet as we're tracking for 1,900, which will be all set. We're coming in for flaps 30 to 50, which is in. You can see it's getting just a little bit rocky. 
Have your sits and winds coming over from the right hand side as we're currently 14 nautical miles for Santa. So we can slow the aircraft right away down now. Coming to 230. Passing through 14,000 feet. I didn't want to use the VNAV today. It's been using the 747 with the vertical speed, so I thought we'd uh, thought we'd use that. So what we can do now is we're going to get the uh, VORs in as well. So for the VOR down in for Seville is a 1137. So we're going to put in the 1137 on the first officers so we can see it. And for the ADF we've got 420. So set and checked. On for our side, we can have the ADF on, and we'll leave the other one on for the first officers. As you slowly throw through uh, 240 now, and we've got Santa for uh, 10,000 above. So on the checklist, which is all set, we've got the fastest seatbelt signs, which are on and checked, coming up for 12,000 yeah, feet. The, the Slight turbulence in the area, 10 degrees now coming up. We can get the anti ice, which is off. The reason the anti ice, etc., with the wind is because when you have the anti ice on, you'll have a higher idle thrust on the approach. So, 354. And if we turn on the anti ice, we can see that that's going to climb and give us then an idle speed of 36.8, 36.9. So, you can see why with the weather everything gets asked at that point. So we're coming down now, we're just passing through for 11,000 feet. We'll get our landing lights on, passing 10, and then we can get the approach checklist, which is in. We're also going to get in the uh, localizer, which is going to be the 111.10. We're going to be set and checked for us, just as we roll in onto that right hand turn. So 10,000 feet in, we can get our landing lights, which can go on. Runway turnoffs will go on once we're on our final approach. Can start to bring the control columns over now. As you can see, there is a little bit of turbulence in the vicinity. We've got the speed brakes open as we hold through for 10,000. And we come around for around 1,900 feet per minute. So we should come on, as we've got 5,000, which will be right there, we're going to drop down for 2,000 feet. Once we come in for a tendu, we can see that we're going to be 2,000 feet onto the 091. So we get the 091 courses, which will be put in on both sides. Which is set. Pre arm the 1016, which will be set. And a 1016, which is pre armed. You can shove it on the standby instrument as well, 1016, which is set. Pass it through 8,000 feet. Seeing as we're going to be coming down for 2,000, and we are practically on profile just about. We're actually below profile, which is okay. And on for the vertical bearing now for 10. Do check the vertical bearing now, 4 to 3. So we only need about 1,500 feet per minute. So we'll run the vertical bearing down to our approach, which is going to be for 2,000 as the FMC has calculated out 2000 at 197 so if we start to slow down now as we come through get the speed brakes in and we're going to a flaps 5 which we can drop under 250 Now we can drop our speed down into our flaps 1 until we get down near. As the aircraft will follow into that right hand turn for the arc, we're then going to be moving out from the 121, which we're currently tracked, the 120. So just passing 6000 transition, we can now set in. As we're slowly going to start to slow the aircraft down, 1016, which we need as well. Which is sat and checked. So as we just slowly start to uh, decel, as we come down for 2000 at Tendo, we're not going to uh, derate the aircraft anymore and we'll just let the aircraft run down near to its flaps up speed 1974 Tendo, where we're then going to intercept for the ILS 409. So this left hand turn now is going to come in as we're going to pretty much run it 
on sort of 199. Just slowly pass now, flaps up. Got flaps fire, which is currently open as we make the right hand turn now. 410 do onto the 19 DME arc. So we are pretty much just about there. There's the 19 DME arc, and we are 20 nautical miles from the Seville VOR. Which is set slowly passing through a 213. And we can now, as we are ready to go, we can get the ILS in, which is the 111 decimal one. So there's the India Sierra Echo, the 091, which is setting cross checks on either side for the 091. As we follow inbound now, ready for 2000 feet. Flaps 5 is already down as we slowly decel in the aircraft. And speed brakes are now armed as well. So for the approach check, this has got the altimeters, which is set for 1016, which is set and cross-checked on the first officer's side and the reserve gauge. Localizer frequency is 111.10, which is also in and set, we're currently 12.9 DME, as we're slowing through at 2000. And we're coming through now through 3900 feet for 2000 feet to intercept. Localizer course is checked for the 091, which is set and cross-checked, coming in for an auto break number two, flaps 30, which is going to be VREV 30 plus 7 which is going to bring us in as we get the approach ready, so VREV 30 plus 7 and we've got 68.8 so that's all set in and ready for us now as we come down for 2000 feet on for a flaps 5 and as we slowly level off then we'll get down into the rest of our flaps then this 5.2 DME is going to be where we intercept for the ILS. 1000 to go, we can see that the localizer is over to the right hand side so I'm going to activate the approach as the glide slope is going to come in at 2000 feet 2500 which is set and now just to speed things up we'll drop into a flaps 10 Landing lights are all on and checked. The logo can now go on. Altitude acquired, which is set. As we slowly come down now for flaps 10, ready to intercept for the uh, localizer. 5.2 DME is where we're going to intercept out. As we're currently at 10, so we can hold out. We're going to hold for uh, 10 degrees on flaps. As we are at 2,000 feet. And we are going to intercept at 5.2 once we spin round. So what we'd usually do is we take a flaps 5 as we intercept for the localizer. We've currently got flaps 10 which is in, so we're currently just uh, ahead of schedule on our flaps set. Engine start switches now can be set to continuous, which are set and checked. So let's now choose 100 for 111 and we are all ready to go. So there's the left hand turn now where we're going to roll through and we're going to hit down for waiting for the localizer. So localizer should switch around and then once we intercept we'll just be waiting for the glide slope and then we'll see a switch from LNAV over to VOR lock. So there's a single channel coming in now telling us that the uh, localizer is in and active. Let's make that left hand turn now to intercept for the runway. 2,000 feet which is in, we are currently now at 10 nautical miles which we'll hold for as we wait for the glide slope to come. 2,000 feet above which is checked. And there's our 080 to 14 knots over on our winds from the metals which will be set and checked. Once we get our flaps etc down, then we can get our landing checklist all complete. So currently on flaps 10 at the moment, we're going to drop into a flaps 15 once the glide slope starts to come down for us. And uh, we've done that by around 5.2 DME. Currently 8 DME now coming through, as you see the winds are just a little bit rocky, 26 degrees as said from the METAR information. So as we wait for the glide slope on the single channel, got some lovely views of X Enviro. As we fly through, we've got the ADF in, which we can switch over. So there's the ADF which will come in. The VOR is 14.8 DME. And from the localizer coming down, we are running at 6.8 is where the 5.8 sorry is where the glide slope starts. And the India Sierra Echo is 7.9. 
episode of Glycope starting to come down now. So as it starts to slowly come into view, 5.8 DME, we can go into flaps 15 gear down. As we work out onto our uh, flap speed, so our speeds are going to be 152 plus 7, which is going to be a 159. 159, which is be around 160, is going to give us around 850 feet per minute. So there's a glide slope coming in now. Flaps 15 is currently set as we descend through uh, 1900 feet, and the minimums that we did forget is 292. Okay, 292, which is set and checked for the minimums, which is going to give us uh, 209. So we go down to uh, flaps 30, which is going to give us our 159, which is 152 plus 7 on our V-Rev 30. And now what we can do is we can go to our approach checklist on for the landing. So landing checklist, go around altitude, we've got set 2000 feet, runway turn off sights are on, landing gear is down, 3 green. We are established on the ILS, the auto thrust and auto pilot is currently inbound, continuing. QNH 1016 also breaks set for number 2 and we are fully established on the ILS for the single channel. One so, 1000 checked, as I'm happy now, and disengage the autopilot. And we disengage the auto throttle. And now I have control of the aircraft. So, 157. As we come through, just coming down on a glide slope, looking around 850 feet per minute. Taxi off, we can retract the speed brakes, flaps can be retracted as well as we take the left hand turn now to vacate off of the runway. And welcome to the lovely Seville guys, hope you enjoyed the arrival with the lovely uh, sunset on the X-Enviro. As we now currently leave off of Echo 5, we are now going to currently proceed to the gate. Okay, so as we line up now to cross over the hold short line, we can disarm the auto brakes which are checked. We can get the landing lights which will go off as well. Runway turn off lights can go on, taxis can go on, all our strobes go to steady. Wings can go off, engine starts can go off as well. Seatbelt signs can be checked as we get the flight directors off and set everything back to normal. So, that's it now for guys for the arrival hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and i'll leave you with the landing cinematics now so enjoy the runway for 09 on the arrival for the ILS zulu 09 approach don't forget to like and subscribe guys thanks to everybody who supports the channel helps get to that 2k subscriber goal and i'll see you all again very soon on the next available flight as you vote for this flight type on the community post so keep a look out for them when i do do the posts and you guys can vote for whichever aircraft you'd like to see next so I'll see you guys very soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.